Hi everybody, welcome back to Work Right Planner. My name is Erica. On this channel we talk about planning and budgeting and all of the things that go with that. And today I'm playing a little bit of catch up. My channel has been quiet for a little bit. Um, in my last video I mentioned that my sister had been put in the hospital. She is out now um, and recovering. She um, still has a little bit of trouble breathing but not too bad. They figured out it had something to do with her allergies um, and she had an infection that she did not even realize she had so if you feel the least bit off go have yourself looked at um, I realize we're all trying to avoid doctors these days but that can be really bad for you because there are things other than COVID that can be really terrible for you but anyway um, with all of that and then her daughter got COVID at school like a week after she got out of the hospital there's just been a lot of distraction a whole lot of distraction and um, I just I haven't been able to stay on top of things and I apologize hopefully one day I won't be working two jobs and I'll have a little bit of extra time built in here um, that will make it easier to stay on top of this but I wanted to apologize to you guys for falling behind anyway so today we are going to work on the cash envelopes. Okay, so I need to see. Okay. There we go. So we're going to talk about cash envelopes today. I went to the bank and um, got the cash that I needed. So we'll just set this out. It should come out to be um, $82. So I've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 1, and 2. So it does come out to be 82. So there's our cash. We have our envelopes here. Um, we'll just kind of look through here. I did very badly, y'all. Very, very badly. Staying on top. <laughs> the eating out. Um, we only have $3 left in it. And the last time that you saw me, I had 36 So, yeah. We've done very, very poorly on the trying to hold on to these funds. But... It happens. It's okay. Uh, but yeah, we've got $3 left in there. Um, it is going to get $16 added to it today. Um, this is the money from my 915 round of paychecks. So, like I said, I'm terribly behind, but I'm going to put 915 deposit. And it's going to be $16. So we'll have $19 total. So, 10, 15, 16. And since there were only ones in there, we'll just lay that on top. We've got 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 total. Maybe we'll have some of that left when we do the next one. Who knows? Probably because, you know, I'm going to be doing that one again here soon. Okay, so there's that one. I get nothing this time around. Um, I, of course, have still not gotten the haircut, so I've got $60 still left in there. But that's not changing gas envelope. We, I had some out of town doctor's appointments um, and dentist appointments that I had to go to so there was some travel involved with that and you know just general running so I actually had to flip this one over and like I said the money that I'm adding is the 915 money but I've got transactions through the 24th of September um, and actually had $40 go missing out of this one. I was not pleased. 
but there's only $29 left in here. So 25, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't know where that $40 went. Um, it's highly unlikely that I would have pulled $40 out of this envelope. That is the dangerous thing about keeping cash envelopes is that if somebody figures out that you've got them, money can go missing. It's a problem I used to have on a regular that I've not had in several years, but that makes me less than happy. Okay, so on gas, I'm adding $35 because that's all I had allotted out of this paycheck. So, $64. We're going to do 20, 30, and 5. And we'll just slide these in here wherever they might go. We have 20, 40, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 64. So, there we go. On the groceries, we did end up having to spend a little bit out of this one. Um, so there should be $37 in here. 20, 35, 6, 7. So yeah, $37 in here. And we're going to add 13 because we're trying to keep $50 on hand in case we have to stop somewhere. So that's going to be 52. Oh Lord, we're not adding 15, we're adding 13. That's going to make me crazy. Lord. Y'all bear with me, my brain ain't here. Okay, we're adding $13, which will bring it up to 15. Okay, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, and we should have 50, so let's see how this goes. We've got 20, 30, 40, 5, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Fifty dollars. The rest of the grocery money is in the account because I do the um, grocery pickup, which I much prefer. Especially right now because our COVID numbers are insane. Now the joint miscellaneous money. We did really bad with this one too. I'm trying to keep twenty dollars on hand in case we have to stop. And um, we did pick up some food for my future mother-in-law when we went to go visit her. And then, of course, there is an enormous church picnic that happens every year in my community. And I've been going to it since its inception because my grandfather was one of the Knights of Columbus and, and they kind of helped organize it. But um, we go every year and, of course, last year... They couldn't have it. It was drive through only to pick up stuff. They didn't have all the extra. This year they did the drive through only also, but we made sure to go. And um, I took part of the money out of several of these envelopes um, because, you know, it's a fundraiser, so things are naturally more expensive. But because of that, I only have $2 left in this envelope, which makes it look really bad. Um... Okay, so we've got $2 there. We're adding 18 So this is the 15th money. Deposit. 18 Which is going to bring us back to the $20 that we want to have on hand. The rest of the money is left 
in the account for miscellaneous expenses and largely because when we normally when we go to pick up the food um, for his mom or if we just stop we want to go somewhere or whatever it's it's easier lately to pay through the app than it is to actually have to go through the drive-thru. We really like the curbside pickup and it just makes life easier overall. So we should have $20 in here. We got 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Um, I know you all know that I prefer to have the larger bills. Um, and I do absolutely prefer to have the larger bills. I feel like it spins easier when it's smaller ones, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We'll slide that in there. And that's all that I've got for you out of this. Now, just as an update, I did film um, the August closeout and the September budget. I just hadn't had time to edit them and get them up yet. I'm going to work on that this weekend. They will come out after this video just because I want you all to know where these mon these numbers are coming from. Um, and so that I can stay as transparent as I can with you guys as far as my journey. So that if you're looking at yours and you're struggling... We all have times where we make these plans, and the plans need to be a little bit flexible. Um, you make the plan. Sometimes things go according to plan, and that's wonderful, and you're going to feel on top of the world, and sometimes things don't go according to plan. Sometimes people get put in the hospital, or, um, you know, you have a flood in your kitchen like I had in November. Things happen, is what I'm getting at. So, you know, just bear with it a little bit, but I'm going to share with you what the plan was so that when it comes down to probably next weekend, I will do the um, September budget closeout and adjust for October's budget, and maybe that'll make a lot more sense if I get these other videos up. So... Okay, you all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching me. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe. And um, I will talk to you later.